has it been, you know, in terms of these climate change talks? Is there enough being done on including women and gender as a right? I mean, it's a slow burner. We've seen the gender agenda no longer uh, being discussed as whether it should be uh, center stage and rather how and what we need to do to take it to the next level. So we've succeeded in some ways, but in other ways it's quite slow. When we got, we had, there was a sudden very clear demands for women's involvement prominently again in these discussions, in the negotiations, and we were happy to see some of the gains of the Paris Agreement certainly. But we still have more now, we're moving to action and there's the NDC process and, uh, and engaging women at that level, at the national level, ensuring that they're involved in the solutions that are picked to make sure that we get to the ambitions of our national determined contributions is really and equally important. So uh, keeping women energized and engaged uh, is going to be the next big, big uh, thing. Absolutely. And, and what is your approach? to getting women excited about this issue through your work? Your <clears throat> well, the most important thing for, for us is evidence. You need to have a strong enough evidence that uh, makes the case for the prominence of women's engagement. We don't want handouts. Women want to be engaged because it makes a f a sense for their achievement of the sustainable development goals, because it makes sense for business. We want to make sure that we have this strong evidence that is making that case for the prominence of women's engagement. And then, of course, the value of women's engagement, not because it's just nice to do. So we want to make sure that that evidence is in place. It's a major pillar of the W Power Hub. And this idea of landscape restoration, you touched on it in the plenary. Why has it gotten so much attention in your view and why is it important? Well, I think landscape restoration is in many ways the, the biggest response to the sustainable de development goals. So we, four direct uh, sustainable development goals are addressed, but I think that even beyond that, it's multiple connections to almost all of them. Um, addressing the, the integrity of our landscapes is about addressing food security, it's about addressing water security, energy security, and with that, uh, women's equality. Um, and, and the integrity of our landscapes also is about how we sustain life as we know it. We know that water uh, and the systems like pollination and others that depend on healthy landscapes would be at threat. So I think landscape restoration is very quickly becoming one of the ways that climate action can be achieved um, at scale. Uh, and this is about scaling up. You have AFR 100, an initiative that was launched by, with NEPAD, the World Resources Institute, IUCN, an ambitious African initiative to restore 100 million hectares of land by 2030. This will not happen through siloed initiatives. It will be landscape scale work, a mosaic of, of uh, restoration of landscapes that are productive. Uh, riverines and mountains, indigenous forests and uh, plantations as well, commercial plantations, but essentially ensuring the integrity of landscapes and that's the most important thing, especially for the movement. And the same thing is going on in Latin America. We have these ambitious global targets with 20 by 20 in Latin America that is also responding to the bond challenge, 150 million hectares by 2020 and then of course the New York Forest Declaration that is mandating 350 million hectares by 2030. So we have a, some clear ambitious targets that we must begin to get granular about. And then of course now with the NDCs moving into action, how do those targets fit into our, our national pri priorities? What have you observed in terms of actually implementing this and translating to action on the ground? I'm heartened certainly by my own country, Kenya, which has uh, probably one of the very first countries of those that have made commitments to AFR 100 to create a, a, a very clear plan of action. We launched just about a month ago the National Landscape Restoration Plan for Kenya. It shows very clearly how Kenya is going to achieve uh, its 5 billion hectare target. Uh, and those are the sorts of commitments we need to start moving to the granular level. Where are these 5 million hectares? What does it look like? It's rangelands, it's grasslands, it's waterways, it's wetlands, it's um, forests, it's, uh, it's commercial plantations. It's the whole mosaic of the landscape, the agroforestry systems. And this is really when the rubber begins to meet the road. And then, of course, we need to see, so how will this be achieved? You need cross um, interministerial collaboration and certainly we need the resources. Uh, funds that will fund this, this work and make it a reality.